alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons having the general formula CnH2n. So by using this general formula, if you look at the first three members of the alkene series, we get the first one as ethene having the molecular formula C2H4 and the condensed or the abbreviated formula is CH2 bonded to another CH2 by a double bond. Similarly, the second member is propene having the molecular formula C3H6 and that is the condensed or the abbreviated formula. Similarly, we have butene, the general formula or the molecular formula being C4H8 and that is the condensed or the abbreviated formula. Now, what type of isomerism do you think is possible in alkenes? Let's take an example. We have but-1-ene. So, in this case, we have four carbon atoms. And if we count the hydrogen atoms, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since the double bond is present at position 1, so we get but-1-ene. Now, we also get another structural formula for the same molecular formula. Because if we count the number of carbon atoms, we get 4. And hydrogen atoms, again we get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the molecular formula remains the same. But we get a different structure. Now the double bond is at the second position. Let's look at another structure if it is possible. Keeping the double bond at the first position itself, we can move one methyl group and bring it down. Now, again, let's see the molecular formula. We have four carbon atoms and two plus three, five plus three, eight hydrogen atoms. So, in the three cases, you observe that the molecular formula remains the same. That is C4H8. But the three structures have different structural formulae. That means they are isomers. What type of isomers are they? Let's recall the two types of isomers that we know. The first one is chain isomers. These are the compounds having the same molecular formula but different structure of carbon atoms in the straight or the branch chains. The second type is position isomers. They have the different position of the functional group present in the structure. Now if we look at the three isomers that we obtained, we see that in the first two, so if we compare the one and two structures, that is let's name it one, two and three. So in structures one and two, you observe that there is a difference in the position of the double bond. In the first, you see that the double bond is present at position one. In the second structure, you observe that the double bond is present at position 2. So, 1 and 2 are position isomers. Now, let's compare 1 and 3. What do you observe? The position of double bond remains the same. That is, the functional group is at the same position. But, there is a difference in the arrangement of the carbon atom in the straight or the branched chain. Since there is no difference in the position of functional group, there is a difference in the arrangement of carbon atom in the chain. So 1 and 3 are chain isomers. Now if we compare 2 and 3. In 2 and 3, you observe that the position of double bond has also changed. In the second one, it was the double bond was at position 2. In the third structure, the double bond is at position 1. Also, there is a difference in the arrangement of the carbon atom in the chain, in the straight chain or in the branch chain. So in the first one, all the carbon atoms were in the straight chain. But in the, this structure, that is the structure 3, three carbon atoms are in straight chain and one is in the branched form. So 2 and 3, they show both kind of isomerism. That is, they show the position isomerism and they also show the chain isomerism. So the kind of isomerism that is possible in alkenes is both chain isomerism and position isomerism. 
what kind of isomerism is shown by alkenes so if we take an example we have seen that we get three isomers for but butene that is but 1 ene but 2 ene and 2 methyl propene the three of them have the same molecular formula but in 1 and 2 we observe that the position of the functional group is changing so 1 and 2 are position isomers in structure 1 and 3 we observe that there is a difference in the arrangement of the carbon atoms in the straight or the branch chain so 1 and 3 show the chain isomerism and when we compare 2 and 3 we see that the double bond has also changed its position and the carbon atoms have also changed their position in the chain so structures 2 and 3 they show both position and chain isomerism so the kind of isomerism which is possible in alkenes is both position and chain isomerism now let's try to find out the structure of the first alkene that is ethene the common name of ethene is ethylene which you may encounter at times so when we write the structure on paper we usually represent ethene like this so there's a double bond between the two carbon atoms and the four hydrogen atoms are attached to the carbon atoms but we know that hydrogen and carbon they have electrons like charges repel so the atoms try to be at the maximum distance away from each other so in this structure we observe that these two atoms are quite far apart but if we compare these two hydrogen atoms they are quite close to each other so the only structure in which the hydrogen atoms are at the maximum distance away from each other is this kind of a structure in this these are the two carbon atoms and these are the four hydrogen atoms they are not present at 90 degrees with this with respect to this bond instead they are slightly tilted away so this is the only structure in which the hydrogen atoms are at the maximum distance away from each other let's see this structure so even when we rotate it we see that all the atoms are in one plane so if you keep it on the table you observe that the entire structure can be placed on one plane so such a structure is also known as a planar structure all the atoms that is the structure of ethene can be placed in one plane so since it can be placed in one plane this kind of a structure is known as a planar structure and in this the angle this angle that is the angle between hydrogen and this carbon is 120 degrees similarly this angle is also 120 degrees and this is the only structure in which all the hydrogen atoms are at the maximum distance away from each other so ethene has a planar structure